Today's tragedy takes us to Greater Manchester, where a young man, Abdi Karim Abdallah Ahmed, also known as Abdi by his friends and family, would sadly be another life lost to the epidemic that is UK knife crime. On the 11th of March 2022, Abdi travelled from his hometown of Bolton, to Bury, Greater Manchester with friends. Around 3.50pm, police would receive a call to a report of a stabbing on Market Street. As Abdi had been walking down the street with his friends, they had crossed paths with another group of males and for some reason or another an altercation ensued. A weary Abdi Karim reached out to staff at a nearby sky bar. He had been stabbed in the chest. Staff performed first aid until the emergency services arrived, who would then rush him to hospital. Medics did all they could to save Abdi's life, but he died later that day. Police launch a murder investigation, while a mother pays tribute to her loving and caring son. This is what she said. Abdi Karim was a loving, caring person who helped and looked after his family from a young age. My beautiful boy Abdi passed away far too young and with his whole life ahead of him, he was taken from us too soon, and in the worst possible way. My boy was a victim of knife crime, I beg all parents to speak to their children and know what's going on in their lives, before their child is taken away. The investigation progressed quickly and arrests were made overnight and to date four arrests have been made. A 17, 2 16 and a 15-year-old were all arrested in connection with the killing. A 15 and a 16-year-old were released on bail, pending further investigation. The 17-year-old was held for questioning but it is unclear at this point if any charges were filed. A 16-year-old, from Kersley, who cannot be named for legal reasons has been charged with murder and possessing a knife. He appeared at Manchester Magistrates Court on the 14th of March where he was remanded to jail to appear at Manchester Crown Court the following day. Here he appeared via video link. He spoke only to confirm his identity. He was then remanded back to jail. His next appearance in court is set for May, which will likely be a plea hearing with his trial scheduled for the 1st of August. Rest in peace Abdi Karim Abdallah Ahmed. Another young soul taken way too soon. The next case takes us over 200 miles south of Manchester, to a town called Twickenham in southwest London. Famous for being the home of the England Rugby Union. On the 17th of March 2022, emergency services would receive reports of a stabbing on Maguire Drive. Not long after 11.20 p.m., Police and paramedics attended the scene only to discover there was no victim or victims on site. A witness describes what he saw. I could see a body laid out on the pavement. It looked serious from where I was. Two fast, sporty cars with young men in were whizzing about in a hurry to get out. A black car backed at high speed with no attention or care to other cars and slammed into that white Range Rover just down there. I then went and rang 999. It took me a long time to get through because they said they were extremely busy. The activity was continuing and by the time the police managed to turn up, most of what was going on had stopped. I didn't see car numbers, I couldn't see faces. I couldn't see what was going on up there. All I could hear was the young girls were really panicking and calling for an ambulance. I don't want to exaggerate. There may have been a dozen or more people. By this point it was clear to the police that some sort of brawl had occurred, but where had the victims gone and who were they? Meanwhile three men had shown up at the local hospital with stab injuries. Unfortunately one of those men, Makona Ramsik, would be pronounced dead on arrival. Two other males suffered minor stab wounds and were discharged from hospital. Subsequently, they would be arrested on suspicion of a fray. A neighbor and a witness to the killing described what he saw. I heard screaming so I ran out into the street. I saw two guys bleeding, one with a chest wound. I got them in my car and drove them to hospital. The one guy probably died in my car. He was so badly injured there was a lot of blood. I'm so sorry he couldn't be saved, I did my best. I just heard shouting and responded. They were laying there. There were many injuries but definitely a chest wound. Makona Ramsik was a 31-year-old man who had recently become a father. 
The circumstances of the brawl are unclear at this time and Mr. Naramsik did not live on the street he was attacked on. A witness had stated the victim had gone to school with her daughter and that he was a lovely guy. On the 22nd of March, Leone Davies, an 18-year-old male from Twickenham, would be charged for the killing. Two females, 17 and 52 and two males, 19 and 20 were all arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender. All have been bailed pending further investigation. It is never just one life that's affected in these senseless killings. My heart goes out to all that are feeling the devastation of this loss. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.